Stephen Chow was born in Hong Kong on June 22, 1962. Stephen had aspirations to become an actor from an early age. He began his acting career after applying for a placement at TVB, Hong Kong's leading television station. His application was at first denied, but after a friend's recommendation, he was then accepted into the night classes at TVB's acting training class, a course which the company held for its new actors. In 1983, after signing a long-term contract with the company, he co-hosted his first show, the children's program, 430 Space Shuttle. The show also featured other actors who would all later gain fame in their own right, including Tony Leung Chu Wai, Ekin Chung, and Athena Chu Ya. After four years presenting the show, his popularity amongst audiences had grown due to the way he would tease the children on the show. Following his departure from 430 Space Shuttle, he then starred in his first drama series for the company, The Price of Growing Up, and soon followed with his film debut in Final Justice. For his role in Final Justice, he played a Wai, a young car thief who was forced into helping cop Chung Tai Chu catch a gang of gun smugglers. Starring in the lead role and also the movie's producer was Danny Lee, who later claimed to discover him. The movie won Stephen Chow the famed Golden Horse Award for Best Supporting Actor at the 25th Taiwan Film Awards and a nomination for Best Supporting Actor and Best New Actor at the Hong Kong Film Awards. Continuing between television and movie roles, by 1989 he had starred in countless TV drama serials and the movies, He Who Chases After the Wind, Just Heroes, Thunder Cops 2, Faithfully Yours, Unmatchable Match, and Dragon Fight. Starring alongside Francis Ng Chun Yu in the TVB series Final Combat, he got a chance to show more of his comedic side, something that had previously been limited in his earlier more dramatic roles. 1990 proved to be an extremely busy and eventful year for him. A variety of movies were underway and saw his roles turning more towards comedy, with highlights including the buddy cop actioner Curry and Pepper, the ghost comedy Lookout Officer, and When Fortune Smiles. With 11 movies in this year, his biggest success came in the later part of 1990, in the form of All for the Winner, which brought his own brand of M.O. Lei Tao, or nonsense talk, to the cinema screens. After the success of the 1989 He Yun Fat movie God of Gamblers, came the comedy parody All for the Winner. The role saw him as singer, a country bumpkin with supernatural abilities, who was persuaded by his Uncle Tat to use his special skills in gambling. Cast as Uncle Tat in the movie was Ng Man Tat, who he had previously worked with at TVB, and would also become a regular sidekick in many of his later films. Taking more than 40 million Hong Kong dollars at the box office, the movie finally gave him the recognition he deserved from Hong Kong audiences and turned him into a superstar overnight. The movie also started a whole new batch of comedy gambling movies, including two sequels to God of Gamblers, both which starred him. 1991 saw the first of three Fight Back to School movies. He starred as Chow Sing Sing, a former SDU member sent on a special mission at a local high school. The movie broke all box office records and, at the time, was the highest grossing film in Hong Kong and later spawned two sequels in 1992 and 1993. With Fist of Fury 91, a spoof of the Bruce Lee classic, he adopted a comic twist of Lee's fighting style and facial expressions. Being a huge fan of Bruce since a young age, he often imitates him in many of his movies. As the traditional martial arts movie became popular once again in the mid-90s, Stephen followed the trend and added his own brand of humor into the genre, which would often spoof the popular more serious movies. His first movie in this style, King of Beggars, saw him as the legendary folk hero, Beggar So, a wealthy playboy who's forced to become a beggar by order of the emperor. Following King of Beggars with the two Royal Tramp movies, his biggest success of this period came with Justice My Foot, a remake of an old Hong Kong film. The lead role, which was originally offered to both Chow Yun-Fat and Michael Hui, was a huge hit with audiences, 
and won the Best Actor Award at the Pacific Film Festival. During this period, he briefly returned to the modern day setting for the two sequels Fight Back to School, a follow-up to Fist of Fury 91, and All's Well, Ends Well. Continuing with the traditional style movies and flirting scholar, by 1993 the period movies had began to lose their interest with moviegoers, proof of this being with Mad Monk, which didn't go down too well at the box office. Playing a god in Mad Monk, the production was troubled due to the clashes between him and director Johnny, too, who had previously worked on Justice My Foot, due to constant changes to the script. The following year came Love on Delivery, the story of a delivery boy who falls in love with the popular girl, played by actress Christy Chung. The film was a great success and added to his status as king of the box office. For his role in From Beijing with Love, he turned behind the camera. As well as being the star, he also wrote and directed the film. A spoof of the James Bond movies, From Beijing with Love mixed comedy and action, in a crazy adventure of special agent Ling Ling Chai. In 1995, he portrayed a whole array of strange and wonderful characters, from the Monkey King in the Chinese Odyssey movies, a ghost catcher in the Leon spoofed Out of the Dark, and a bizarre and strange bionic character in the hilarious $60 million man. Revisiting his earlier James Bond-style character, in 1990's IXS Forbidden City Cop, he plays a secret agent for the Emperor, whose skills are best suited to an inventor rather than a fighter, Starring, directing, and writing his next movie, God of Cookery tells the story of a supposedly master of cooking, but in fact he cares more about making money than his actual skills in the art. In the movie he is betrayed by his own backers and later ends up without any money and a ruined reputation. It is only when he meets a local street vendor, played by the almost unrecognizable Karen Mock, he works to rediscover his talent and reclaim his title as the god of cookery. American actor Jim Carrey was once rumored to be interested in starring in an American remake of God of Cookery with him at the helm, but the project never materialized. Next up was All's Well, Ends Well 97, a revisit of his earlier 1992 version, and a return to the period comedies in Lawyer, Lawyer. With only a supporting role in The Lucky Guy, by 1998, his movie-making schedule had slowed down after filming at such a hectic rate for so many years previously. In King of Comedy the following year, his screen persona had much developed since the characters from his earlier roles. The role featured him as a film extra who really wants to be given a chance to prove himself as a professional actor. With a cameo in Jackie Chan's Gorgeous and a supporting role in Tricky Master, he had a breakaway from movie screens to work on his next movie, Shaolin Soccer. After two years in production, he returned in 2001 to cinema screens in Shaolin Soccer, with him as a former Shaolin student who hits upon the idea of gathering his Shaolin brothers to form a soccer team. Breaking all box offices records at the time of its release, Shaolin Soccer became one of Hong Kong's biggest selling films of all time. The success of Shaolin Soccer was not only limited to Hong Kong, it also proved to be extremely popular in other parts of Asia, including Korea and Japan. In the western part of the world, his movies have received very little release outside of Asia, but as the interest in Eastern cinema is continuing to grow in Hollywood, his feature, Shaolin Soccer, was picked up for a US release by Miramax. As with a lot of Asian movies distributed in the States, Shaolin Soccer received several cuts and was dubbed into English. He even provided his own voice for the new version of the movie but despite this, the U.S. release was still put on hold. Numerous changes to first release it in English, then back to the original Cantonese, and even a title change to Kung Fu Soccer meant time rolled by without the film receiving a release. After a couple of years' delay from Miramax, the movie finally received a release in 2004 in both America and UK, and went as quickly as it came. Whilst the international release of Shaolin Soccer had been handled so badly, he began work on his next project, Kung Fu Hustle. Financed by Columbia, who are also due to release the film in the States, the production began back in June 2003 and soon saw a change to the action director. 
Action master Sam Ohung was originally on board to handle the film's action sequences, but after various reasons, he left the production and another legendary action director was called in to take over. The internationally famous Yuan Wu Ping took over and reportedly made quite a few changes to the scenes already filmed. Kung Fu Hustle is set in 1940s Canton and tells the story of Singh a wannabe gangster who is desperate to join the toughest group of triads, the Axe Gang. Overcast members include veteran stars Leung Shulung and Yuan Hua, some of his Shaolin soccer co-stars, and a newcomer to the industry as his leading lady. Big changes in Steven Chow as a filmmaker have been evident for the recent years of his career. With his productions he has always been the perfectionist but now has become even more so and prefers to take a long time to film each movie until he brings to the screen the movie exactly as he wants it to be, which is a major leap from his back-to-back -back shooting schedule of the 1990s. Regardless of what success he receives internationally, one thing is for certain, the future is certainly bright for this king of comedy.